In a soft world of wool, once filled with life and joy, wanders a ragged and lonely soul. He has climbed across mountains as high as tall towers, in search of life, in search of color, and mostly in search of <laughs> pretty flowers. Now when Stuffy sees something pretty, very little can keep him away, and not even steep cliffs or imminent danger can keep him at bay. Well, frankly, it's pretty amazing this creature is still around. Maybe what he should be looking for is a sense of direction, while defying the principles of natural selection. And find some solid ground. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not the first time Stuffy falls. It's a big elephant, he can take it. Let's see what this wanderer has fallen into this time. Just look at that combination of color.
Oh, just your ordinary colourful woolen valley here. Although I must admit, the knitting work is excellent. If I know Stuffy, he won't like going into that cave. I'm not saying he's a coward, but he's not exactly brave. Well, not in darkness anyway. Now what is this metal machine doing here? Looking lifeless and all wrong. It's not yet a part of our story. Oh, Stuffy, move along. Head, an intricate little machine jutted from the ground. But Stuffy, of course, glanced over it, for what also came into view was a pretty little bird, all colourful and blue. Yes, Stuffy, go ahead, frolic, make some sound. That could make him come around. Now Glitch wakes up and sees the world for the first time, filling him with wonder blazing. For a woolen world stretched out before him, soft, woolen, and frankly quite amazing. For as long as he knew he had been blind, but now sees soft hands of wool, caring and kind. Who was this creature looking so terribly lost? Loose limbs and half its ear torn. How did it come to look so worn? Glitch paused and thought, not knowing what to do. Was he a thing that helped? And a kind thing too? For now, maybe, circumstance had let their paths cross. They should stick together for now and be less at a loss. Now for Glitch, this all was pretty strange. You see, gone was the cold metal, foul smoke and creaky clocks. His vision now filled with soft, knitted hills and neatly quilted rocks. Was he the only metal creature here? soft shapes, fibre and stitch, stood a metal machine with a socket perfect for glitch. The machine came to life, it was made for knitting. With the right pattern, glitch could make any fabric fitting. He could set stuffy right and found he would do so with delight. Now why would that be? By this new appearance, 
Stuffy hooted with glee, thinking life was too short to remain the same for all eternity. <laughs> Such an optimist. To your left, your collected animal patterns can give you varying abilities for each part. To your right, you can apply any of the fabrics you have scanned so far. Smoke will tell you when a knitting machine is near. Stuffy could not be persuaded to enter the cave, mightily fearing the dark, and helplessly looked at Glitch, hoping he could give a spark. Keep an eye out for Glitch. You'll think out loud when an action can be done. Another type of machine marred the otherwise colorful view, with arms like that of an insect, limp and still. It seemed to tug at Glitch's will. Now why would it do that? He had no clue. This machine spoke to Glitch in words without sound. If they spoke back in the correct rhythm, something important could be found. gentle in this valley. <clears throat> Why would a machine containing a stuffy knitting pattern be here? Was there a connection with all these knitting machines near? Ah, a new shape could have other abilities. That was pretty neat. This new blueprint contained patterns for both strong arms and powerful feet. Useful, I'm sure. Glitch didn't dare leave Stuffy behind. There was so much of this world he didn't yet know. He had just awoken, without memory. If off he flew, where to would he go? Besides, someone should keep an eye out for his newfound friend. Who was better suited than a firefly that could apparently knit, fix, and mend?
You can scan the patterns on certain flowers, patches, or creatures. Glitch will find special uses for some of these colorful features. Huh, you'll see. You can seek out so much here. There is so much life here, yet something is missing. Hey Dominic. Oh, thank you. My apologies, I had to blow my nose and pause for a second there. I didn't mute in time. Hope you are doing well. Oh man. So his arms here don't do anything. Oops, I want it colored still. Whew. You can seek out so much here. yellow. We can explore over here. And I'm trying to find like stuff you can scan. <laughs> oh boy. There are more oh. of those machines as the one in which Glitch had crashed to the ground. They will tell you about the chain of events that led to Glitch ending up here and being found. If you can piece together what they are trying to say, that is. Glitch was engulfed by memories, images, and words, making no sense, but holding great worth. He remembered words without sound. He was falling to the ground. Something was lost, and great was the cost. He saw darkness and steel, felt the turning of the wheel. A great danger was unleashed, like an untamed beast. The hunt had begun, but when? The machine gave Glitch a glimpse into his lost memory. 
Although this world did not seem to be in jeopardy, he would need to find more memories to understand any of it. I need to use me, not him. Stuffy was impressed by Glitch, solving all this complicated stuff. Glitch had real smarts. That was sure enough. Stuffy stepped on the pumpkin, the stream swept them on their way, deeper into the meadows, and the hidden wonders that therein lay, and the hidden and as of yet still distant dangers, of course. That's when Glitch saw the moon and felt its immediate pull. It entranced him and endeared him, and made him stare like a fool. He wanted to go there. No, he felt that he should but still not knowing how or for what reason he would. How could something so big be held trapped in the Oof. sky? He retreated deep into thought, just enjoyed the view, staring at all the different creatures and sights floating by, not much pondering the how, not caring a whole lot about the why. He remembered having friends a long, long time ago. It felt right with Glitch at his side, and to be taken in tow. Seeing the moon had changed Glitch eternally, and to get to it behind the Red Mountains, they should be. Now since Stuffy can't swim, they would have to go around. My guess is that at the end of this path, a way up can nice. be found. One of these paths, anyway. We are green. Not, not big on green, but I'm happy to unlock more colors. Hmm. Yeah, just checking if there's any... I just want to know what pausing did. I'm gonna go that other way first. There's a crafty thing up there.
there's so many ways. Is this, is this the same one or a different one? I think it's different. As Glitch grudgingly admitted, a short intermission was fine. His actual enthusiasm showed by asking Stuffy, what color and shape shall it be this time? A green head. No, go back in. <laughs> I just wanted to look at the color. Okay. I just love the woolen patterns used here. So many places to go. I don't think I can punch this, right? Because it's been the other side. This valley was full of life, but to glitch, something felt, well, amiss. Stuffy must once have lived in a valley just like this. But without others of its kind? Surely not. They must have traveled to someplace new. Maybe leaving Stuffy behind. Oh, what a thing to do. Let's go check that other way. I, I like exploring too much. <laughs> this is where I came from, isn't it? Alright, I like exploring so much that I went back to where I came from. <laughs> Can I go up this? side I think again all right let's go there is so much to explore here I could just stares up at him go hey the warmth of this valley. <laughs> Sorry for not talking much, I'm all stuffy. I didn't even say that on purpose. My nose is just... Eh. 
Ah, another shape for Stuffy was near. Yet, Glitch had to wonder, who had put all this machinery here? Oh man, is that a pig? And there was a change in things. Well, good thing I went over this way. I had the hunch was right. Do do do. It did cost time. That much was true. But Glitch found he enjoyed the tailoring. Enjoyed it with an enthusiasm so unwavering. It's a good thing Stuffy enjoys it too. I don't want to be a full pig. I'm gonna mix and match now. Lots of big mountains here, aren't there? Now you look like an interesting combination. Can you imagine knitting all these trees here? I don't need to do that because I just did it. Onwards. Nice, we got a pattern. I'm not going to go check it out yet, yet.
The big snake looked stuffy up and down and shook his head with a passion. Could it be because their outfits did not match? Glitch had no idea snakes could care about fashion. Well, me neither, but apparently they do. Okay, so do I have to be green and put that patch on? Goodbye, yellow. Let's go home. It is a good start, but if you insist on going for a fashionable fit, there is no overdoing it. Back to the machine with you. I guess just all of me? It's a different greed, so... Alright. Snake nodded approvingly of Stuffy's fancy display, seemed happy, and lifted his tail out of the way. Right, let's go. They had to find a way up to the Red Mountain Range. Stuffy's current shape would give trouble, but that they could change. Rather, it was in his wandering attention that the challenge lay. Glitch gently reminded Stuffy not to stray. Surely there was no sense in cuddling the sheep, or playing chase with the bees, nor looking for other hidden adventures between the trees. They should follow the road forward and... What was that? Glitch saw a metal spider. Fear tightened his wings. Memories of darkness stunned him with a vision of long metal limbs. For a moment, his head reeled with confusion. There was no spider there. Stuffy waited for him, unaware. It must have been an illusion. More sheep, although one of them looked unique. Sure, Glitch could scan the pattern, as long as the sheep were meek.
Duffy ogled the apples hanging from the tree and suddenly knew that Apple Red was all he ever wanted to be. Glitch sighed. This stuffy was very easily distracted. Should he really even bother? Okay, let's get stuffy them apples. One way or the you other. You want to be red. for sure. We'll look around. That's a little bit down. Looks like there's another one of these things, too. So let's do it. Hmm. Definitely gonna want to get the apples at some point. Might be now if you give a giraffe. It looked like might have long neck. Also, don't want to be this oh, pattern such anymore. A lofty pattern. Oh, don't mind me. Wait. Nice hidden color. Cool, cool.
Do 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 do. Now I have a long neck, I can get the apple right. This way. Oh, that's all it was in a different here. way. Apple! Or it's gonna eat you! My favorite color. Boom! That'll let me go there. Is that how I can get it? Boar's gonna go for it again, I guarantee it. Yeah, you can have the apple, but I just want to get red. Now I'm going to go color, because red's the best color. Enjoy your snack!
guess we'll go this way to peek. Let's go. Let's another one of those things. Oh, it's all so soft. Lovely, I admit. He remembered the song that sang for so long. Singing to the life of any, there had been so many, and now all was gone. The song was broken, no words were spoken. Who had broken the song? What had been many? These sheep seemed happy. There was no sign of danger around. Maybe Glitch's premonitions were nothing but false visions. And there wasn't imminent danger lurking about. But that maybe would be nice, was. wouldn't it? It would be nice, which is why it's not happening. Second. Very colorful.
You can seek out so much here. I got everything over here, but I'm just gonna do one quick skim before I go back, cuz why not? There's the apple, there's our bud that ate the apple. There's a hill to get stuck on. the music thing I already got. Might have just been a waste of time running back here, but I just want to double check, so it's okay with me. Alright, let's go back to the nut. Mm. <laughs> Very colorful. came from. Yep. Oh, this way for now. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, exactly. does feel safe, I guess. Am 
I one of your people now? So, you don't even have to do that, you have to stomp, huh? and it became nut color for nothing. Let's go get my color back. The nothing nut. Yeah, yeah, go grr, grr, how you want. One river down, and one more was due. Still, Glitch felt this world was in danger, even if that was hidden from view. <sighs> and even more the stranger, he felt there was something he should do. Was his pull to the moon some sort of meaningful communication? Or no more than a firefly's fascination? I see a patch on the ground. As the squirrels fled stuffy, a rhyme came to Glitch's mind. Birds of a feather flock together. Ha <laughs> I'll let you figure this one out. you could jump.
jumping and invisible walls so far are probably the big complaint. Like, you can't just drop down places, you can't go- even, like, normal hills can be a struggle. Like, the hitboxes for things are, like, ten times bigger than the size of the object. Just look at that it. combination of color. Oof. Thick. Thicku. Thicku. Ooh, what's over here? Was this the quickest way upwards? Glitch didn't think that would be the case. There was no way to tell where the path went. Stuffy thought something interesting would be around the bend. But honestly, doesn't he always? Huh. That's not what I expected, but that's cool. Do 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 do. Is this right to be nut now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very colorful. Uh, I also wish you could save colors. Oh, I think you just sand this rock and didn't notice that. I keep going nut and then realizing you don't have to. <coughs> Scan its head. Squirrel. Well, there we go. Thank you. 
<laughs> Very colorful. Two colors out of that. Woodpecker or something. It's way too high. Guess I'll see where it goes when it moves once. <sighs> Lots of big mountains here, aren't there? Like in the middle though. Still not low enough to scan. <sighs> okay, no. <laughs> Some of these colors are very vibrant.
I'll be right back. I'm going to the bathroom, and then we will continue for a bit.
Alright, sorry about that. Let's go. With my phone. Let's go. Sorry about that. All right. I came from over here. So <laughs> there is so much life here, yet something is missing. Oh, give me the color bottle. <laughs> How are they going to get across? That pumpkin could be their way to the other side. At least, How? if the pumpkin did not overturn, he couldn't help but worry. He was Stuffy's guide. No. And with Stuffy being, well, <laughs> Stuffy, it there away. was some concern. Uh. Pumpkin! <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's fine. To his surprise, Glitch saw their sudden joyride had Stuffy smiling, liking the view and enjoying the breeze. Where Glitch saw the danger of overturning, this gentle creature was at ease. Marvelous. However, Stuffy okay. looked pretty happy with their detour. Lots of new green, flowery, okay, and unexplored. That. Glitch sighed. Maybe he shouldn't Onyx. be harboring haste going towards the moon anyway. He tried to relax and to take note of their surroundings, enjoying what in turn became a pleasant delay. Wow.
I wanted to check Onyx. How's that look compared to Blackie? This valley seems without peril. Lose some of it like that. What was this old rug doing here, blocking their way? No, Stuffy. It doesn't want to play. Dang it, Bison. It's a big critter. Classic. Hello. Stomp! Boom! You gonna run into a circle? We got another color out of it too. Or material. This little hideout seemed cozy, but also suspiciously stuffy size. <laughs> Traces left behind by Stuffy's kind. Was there something lost that Stuffy was trying to find? Do 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 do.
Glitch could be patient when he wanted to. There was no sense in hurrying having a fit. If Stuffy was going to have all these things to do, he might as well enjoy it. I'm gonna wait here because usually they go in a cycle and I want to get that bird color. before it never comes back again. <laughs> Not good. Just look at that combination of color. Dang. That's all the color. <laughs> Maybe if we are, I can jump rocks. to have reached a new area, filled with more of those large beasts and big trees. And what was that sound in the distance, as calming as a breeze? So I need to find one of the music things to get a new character so I can jump rocks. I think I see one up there. Cause that's not what I need, that's just to change color. But I will look around just to see if there's any like other colors unlocks. Hidden stuffs. Before them was uh. revealed an impressive view, an endless sea of blue. Mm. To their left, a rocky ridge blocked Stuffy's way. But if they couldn't cross together, together they would stay. Hmm. So how are we going to get Stuffy up there? Stuffy didn't feel a thing when switching an arm or changing dyes. All that was actually him <laughs> resided in his eyes. For as long as his eyes were kept safe and unharmed, there was no reason to be alarmed. So, eyes are the window to the soul. Who would have thought? When it goes straight up, it's because my controller has stick drift issues, by the way. So whenever like this happens, it's not me. That time it was, but...
What's back here? It looks like the thing to open for a color. Huh. Give me the color. Pool. I need those guys to move, I guess. Ah, it is cozy here. We got pool out of it. <laughs> this one stays. I said, boom. Just keep doing it. Oh. I just love the woolen patterns used here. That opened the other end. I was checking something. <laughs> So I deserve that. So I gotta run along with them. So will that push the other one to the side so I can get over there? Book it! Book it! <laughs> Book it! Yeah, it wasn't that fast. It wasn't... You had to book it that fast, but... Still! At least the breeze is gentle in this valley. Anything in here? 
Nada. I'll play this for one second. Okay, let's do this. pattern stuffy would be able to jump up the ridge and it would help them up the mountain once they had crossed the bridge oh <laughs> rather you than me though that looks like an awfully big mountain to climb <laughs> oh man <gasps> oh I, I guess i just scare him and go that way hey yeah So I want to have jumpy legs. Ooh, I just saw this too. I almost missed that before. Boom. Well, I need the legs. I'll take the head. I don't want to keep this weird body, though. I'll take this body. Also, I'm going to change. <laughs> so funny with the tiny legs. I love it. Make them more yellow. I like that more. Looks a little better now. I'm going to try iron as well for these. It's a slightly different shade, eh? That looks silly. I love it. the water thing I could jump because I, I need to do that quick over there okay
Did I see? Oh, never mind. Do 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 do. Let's go with the screen. Boing. All that for the color. Boom. jump somewhere yeah I see a little thing Left, there's one more critter, so you actually get down to the desert. I'm going to double check that quick. Do, 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 do. So you can. That is a big well thing. There's a cave. This is just like one of the secret caves. Do 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 do. Hmm. <laughs> Very colorful. Yep. There's the giant spider eating some sheep rabbit pig things. That's cave two. Good thing I saw that when it was up before I jumped or did anything else. Have you seen all those flowers?
broke a rock over there. I have to have him break rocks in different places, I'm guessing. It looks like the next one is over there I can break. I guess I got lucky. I just love the woolen patterns used here. I don't know what the point of that was. Jumped out of the water. I didn't even and see didn't that one there. <laughs> it should calculate it. Stuffy stared in awe at the creature, oblivious of the fact that above them the left, a bridge was, was created. Derp. Well, it worked. I was just doing it randomly. Woohoo! Randomness. came into view, tunneling for miles into the mountain, taking them through. stomp again. Good thing I can change my feet right there. Well, I see a thing I can scan over here too. Another color it looks like. Yep. Some of these colors are very vibrant. Seaweed is not very vibrant, but you know. I'll roll with it. Glitch didn't think all these machines belonged here, and he himself certainly did not. He couldn't stay in this wondrous valley, that was clear, for it didn't contain the answers he sought. We gotta get stompy legs. Back to the classic Elefante.
We already got you guys. life here, yet something is missing. the mountain. Is the guy yet close enough that I can scan him? Probably not. Maybe from down there? the sun. Now that they ran down there, can't do anything or waddle 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 waddle. Nah, they're just chilling and eating. I do 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 Invisible walls. 
my worst enemy. Just over here. We're good. Let's go back. I'd love to get that color on top of the mountain. <laughs> Glitch wanted to continue, but Stuffy hesitated. All Glitch wanted to do was go see the moon. Did they really have to leave here so soon? Sure, the moon was pretty, that part was clear. But why face dark tunnels when there was pretty a plenty right here? It was actually a good question. Stuffy disliked the dark, and the moon was Glitch's obsession. Glitch was a thing that helped, and a kind thing too. So forcing Stuffy to go was a thing he shouldn't do. His was a quest that Stuffy hadn't asked for. Stuffy might be clumsy or scared at times, but had lived by himself before. At the cave, Glitch would send Stuffy away. Such a lofty pattern. Oh, don't mind me. Why is it? close enough down here. Oh, I do like the sun. Metal had a rhythm, the creatures had a rhyme, until the song stuttered, released into time. Stacks had been added to overflow, zeros and zeros and 404s. What was known was lost, and peace was the cost. If only he could remember things more clearly. Three of five. There's a lot of stuff hidden in this game. And I thought I did pretty good exploring. I'm at pretty low on that. I got all the animals. I missed a lot. Assuming this is the end. Does he come close or not? I'm gonna wait like a minute or two. Just where he goes, because I can scan him. That's don't look up, controller. You're not helping. seek out so much here. I don't think he does.
<laughs> so all that was for some lore. We're missing a bunch. What a journey it had been getting here, and not just climbing this red wall. Soft hills, knitted forest, they had explored them all. Glitch had regained some of his memories, but he still felt like a stranger. This valley had been good to them, safe from danger. Boing again. The cave stared at Stuffy like a monster's maw, gaping and cavernous. Who knew what waited in there, all skulking and hazardous? Stuffy, you don't have to face your fear. Glitch will go and you'll remain here. But Stuffy wasn't up for that. He would be brave. Rocks and rivers hadn't separated them, so neither would this cave. Ah, that's right. Don't let fear stop you, ever. Never. Well, Stuffy blinked and Glitch sighed, and eventually one went in, with the other as his guide. Well, I did not get a lot of collectibles. Like a real lot. <laughs> like a real, real lot. Which is crazy because I felt like I explored a lot. Dang. The expedition through the cave had gone on for hours past that which Glitch had planned. Now Glitch had felt at ease in the dark as such. Stuffy, as you can guess. Well, not so much. But now finally they could go and discover the mysteries hidden in this new land. I don't know if you can level select. I'm looking at the achievements for fun real quick. I'm probably going to call it here. Yeah, find all patterns in level 1. Barely anybody did it. Find all patterns in level 2 is apparently a lot easier because it's over double the people. And at level 3 is also easier. 4 is harder slash no one's there. Find all the blueprints in level 2. 5%.
Oh, those are the characters. I guess the characters in this one are hard to find. It's like there's a taste of They were easy to find in the, in the first one, and apparently in the third one. And the other ones, no. Find all memories in level one? Apparently that was a common achievement, and I still missed it. I think those are the robot things. I missed two. And it's common enough to get one, two more? Jeez. Find all caves is 25% because I missed one. In a single playthrough find. That's all the achievements are in this whole game. It's literally just find all of each thing on each map and then a hard, hard one is just find all of everything in a single playthrough. Which means I'm not getting that because I don't think there's level select. I don't like these achievements at all. If you miss it, you can't go back. And there's like the single playthrough for replaying. Because it doesn't seem like a game has a super lot of replayability. It'll just be exploration. The game itself is fine, but I'm not a fan of the achievements. I got one. Ooh. Looking back, <laughs> the meadows did seem like the safer spot to be. I'm surprised that 25% of the people found a cave and I couldn't. Like, I'm surprised with how much I explored, I missed something that was common. Huh. <laughs> And I'm also surprised that a lot of people got the, uh, whatchamacallit, the memories in the first level. Just because I missed two, not just one. But, oh well, I'm going to call it for now. This was, I did enjoy the game, though, but I beat a level and it's pretty long. And it looks like there's only five, so I'm not going to do another one now. I'm going to play some God of War soon. But overall, enjoyed the game. few problems where it's weird that you can't just jump. Uh, invisible walls slash hitboxes kind of suck. And I don't like the achievements. But overall, it's a charming, cute little game that I'm enjoying. But I'm going to call it for right now. Thank you for watching. Thanks for chatting. Appreciate it as always. I'll be back. A little bit with God of War.